there is something ominous about this thumbnail for this particular episode. I don't know. It just looks very ominous, like very cryptic, like um, Rooster Teeth are, not, are trying not to spoil something. I don't know. Maybe the title of this episode and the thumbnail indicates that this is going to be a documentary or something. Like you can just imagine the camp camp have their own David Attenborough or something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, this is episode number 12 of season four, which would usually be the finale. But um, we've got a few more episodes to go until we reach that peak. But yeah, hello everyone, Liam Caddison here. This is called The Forest. And uh, yeah, last week was completely nuts with Campbell on the um, truth serum so that he accidentally drank. So that was a ride and a half, uh, especially calling out people's truths, which was uh, really daunting for everyone. But no, it was a fun episode to go through and I imagine this will be no different. So... Why don't we go on to Camp Camp episode number 12 of season 4. This is the forest. Let's go. That was amazing. Our best adventure Trio yet. one. <laughs> you nailed the blimp with that flaming arrow. I was like, wow. Wait, what? Critical hit. Like a Thanks. I couldn't have done it blimp? without Max distracting the wood scout. Oh, God. Routine. I'll remind you all, what you saw today is a secret that you will take with you to the grave. Don't worry, Max. I'll Ooh, tap I want to know. I tell anyone about your hidden talent. <laughs> I want to know. Thanks for I... saving me, everyone. <laughs> I see now how my hubris put you all in danger. That's all good and fun. I want to know this adventure. What uh, adventure. Today's chaotic and exceptionally entertaining misadventure. I learned Jeremy farts his gas can fill a blimp. Or maybe I oh, I don't want to know. I as much as it was seared into my brain. Yeah, yeah I don't want to know. With a blank on lessons here, David. Uh... This is all very cryptic. Duty? Tell you what, why don't you all think about it as Gwen walks you back to camp? I'll tie up the canoes and see you there. And we will never hear about this again. I'm disappointed. Well, Actually, it looks like someone. If it's involving Jeremy farts and. Whoops. Oh. Oh shit! What? It's just he's just gone unconscious. Oh, that's a oh. big bump. What? You need a doctor, David. I think he needs more than a doctor after this. No, 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 no. What? There's a place I know that's tucked away, a place where you and I can stay, where we can go to laugh and play and have adventures every day. I know it sounds hard to believe, but guys and gals, it's true. Camp Campbell is the place for me and you. Simple lakes and climb up trees, catch fish, bugs, bears, and honeybees. There's endless possibilities, and no, that's not hyperbole. Our models can be DM, and that means I'm telling you. We've got archery, hiking, searching, spiking, horseback training, you're safe from heart attacks, scuba diving, mining, reef, rhyming, football, limbo, science, stunting, creek, cast, patience, treasure, hunting, bomb, defeat, and no refusal. To see circus, trophies, and fights, and ghosts, and pace, and snakes, and knives, and chests, and dancing, ways, and camp camp. What the hell happened? What the? David! David, what the hell? Oh boy. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> that was pretty drastic for Camp Camp. Oh, oh. That is a lot of water. I know our bodies are mostly water. Okay, that's taking the mick. Uh oh. Easy girl. It's just a nice wolfie. Nice friend. wolfie. I'm just passing through these parts on my nice way wolfie. back to camp. No. Why don't you back away and we'll both go about our business? Oh, shit's getting Get real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> David had to go. David had to go there. Is he lost? We're gonna have a David-esque episode, which is... Oh, jolly. It's 
get into sun it, it's sunset sun gone <sighs> so camp here David oh that's pretty oh no that's huh? dangerous <laughs> two bees oh shit <laughs> That is the worst placement of a beehive ever. Oh. Maybe it's not having it right. Jesus. I felt that. I felt that. It's a cartoon, but... Oh, shoot. Poor David. Hmm. You could do with that smoothie, to be fair. Why not eat the wood? <laughs> All that? It's going to take him forever to get the fire stuck. Oh, there we go. Ah, really? Well, that's not the best. No, no, it isn't. Can we can, can we give David a break today? Pine, cedar, <laughs> oak. Does he say that every time he sleeps? <laughs> I'm fast recovery though. Don't eat the berries. Don't eat the berries. They're probably not poisonous and he's going to go about his ways and... Yeah. Oh, God. Let's come back for more. <laughs> Don't want any trouble, Wolfie. Just back off and leave me be. Yeah, I'm oh, not falling for that trick. Girl. Oh, shh. I said back off. Holy shit! Oh, David! Oh! Leap of faith, leap of faith, leap of faith, leap of faith! No! No! Holy shit! Like, you just got impaled. At least you got dinner. Why did you do this? Why? I told you to go. Why couldn't you just leave me alone? I asked you to go away. Why don't you just go? Holy Why? shit. Why? I told you. And you didn't David! Damn! I I just crumbled there. David's ch oh my god. How long has he been gone? I'm coming. I'm coming. So he didn't die. Oh, oh, she didn't die. Oh my god! Oh, David! Much better. Yeah, I think we're about ready. No. 
You can't come with me, friend. Of course we can wait for tomorrow. Oh, this is wholesome. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the emotions going. You and I stay. We can go to laugh and play. I wonder how long it's been for David. And Campbell is the place for me and you. It's a mirage, isn't it? I made it. <laughs> it's the Wood yes! Scouts camp. Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> No, I, I, um, I didn't mean to scare you. Oh, um, please don't, don't tell your mom. Yeah. Oh shit! <laughs> He's not Goldilocks. Uh -huh. Wolfie! <laughs> Wolfie! Come on, Wolfie! Saved us! No, 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 no. No! No, no! Thank you. Oh my god. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Holy shit, what the fuck is this episode? God. Good morning, Campbell Campers. I hope what you didn't the? miss me too much. Now, where did we leave off? Oh, right. The lesson. God damn it. <laughs> Vacation's over. By now, you have plenty of time. How long has he been gone, to be fair? Really They've probably forgotten about, about the lesson. So? Yeah, I'm afraid we actually didn't give it a second thought. Well, I think maybe the lesson was about kindness. You know, being nice to strangers. Like you did with the wolf. Even if those strangers weren't very nice to you. <laughs> or even if they hurt you. I'm going to cry. <laughs> it doesn't matter because you never know when a little kindness can come back around when you, <laughs> when you need it the most. <laughs> Eh, Cry, you a cultured through the valley of the shadow of death. I got the wolves on my heels and the bears at my neck, and I ain't made it out the woods. But what was that episode? Flex. Never looking at the past because I'm staring at next. So no, I'm not DMX, but I'm yelling where my dog's at. Yeah. Where what was that episode? I made some really good friends through the combat. <sighs> what was that episode? That was. That was hard. That was one of the best episodes ever. Honestly, that might have been one of the best episodes of Camp Camp ever. I really loved how it was David focused and there wasn't really much dialogue into the episode. That's the thing. But it came out so strongly with the bond with David and the wolf that was powerful and it was so great seeing the wolf being David's companion everything went wrong for David and he just wasn't having the best day and it was just it was just really great to see David try to move on um keep his composure as much as much as possible because especially on the first day he got lost everything went wrong he had a lot of bee stings he tried to set up a fire that didn't work got a bumped on the noggin so yeah just watch this is this was all a concussion for for david and the things that happened in this episode yeah but um yeah and I wonder how many days it was 
for David because we saw him grow out the beard. Unless, you know, his beard game is so fast, then... Yeah, but, oh my god, I was not ready for the wolf to die. I hate bears now. Bears can piss off. Um, especially the cup. That cup can be dinner. I don't care. Um, yeah, the wolf was heartbreaking. Especially, no, that's the funny thing, though. We saw, we saw, like, what? One minute in total of, a, of a, the good bond of David and the wolf. But yet it resonated so much to us. Um, I don't know. I think it's because you're just a sucker for that companionship as well. And maybe, you know, dog deaths are like, uh, always a kryptonite for humans. But, um, they should have put a, a, a bloody, um, they should have put like, I don't know, warning, a disclaimer. This is going to make you um, sad as fuck because it did. This episode did. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was, that was something. I really enjoyed that episode so much. Like, there wasn't much to go by throughout this episode, but yet so much was uncovered, if you get what I mean. Like, the emotions from David, like, especially when we thought he was going to kill that wolf, because it looked like, um, he went for the head. Four, keep notes. Um... And, um, yeah, it turns out he spared the girl Mercy, so, yeah. Because David doesn't have it in his heart to kill. But he did get frustrated. He w We saw that anger, like, when he was, like, I've got to say, Miles' voice acting was on point there. Um, but we saw how frustrated David was about the wolf not leaving um, David alone, and he got really worked up, and it was... It was just bloody, bloody something. I just really um, enjoyed that episode so much. Um, yeah, I just, I just really enjoyed it. And we had the chase scene between um, David and the wolf. We, we had that complication, and then it, I thought it was dead anyways. Like I thought, okay, well if the spikes are not going to do anything that surely because it was it was like impaled wasn't it so yeah uh, like it hit some branches and then it went through the wolf um and then david hit the had the um um yeah so i don't know maybe that got the tree branches out the wolf or something i don't know no but in all seriousness that was really really hectic it was very violent because we saw a lot of um violence being thrown to david um but it was very warm as well towards the end when david set up his own area which i thought was really really nice stuff um and he had to resort to hunting yeah that was bloody emotional i was not i was not prepared to be attacked by rooster teeth today but here we are um no but they did a solid job with the story this is like by far my favorite episode of season four it's one of my favorite episodes of all time just with and i just like i said i just love how little in terms of dialogue it was but how powerful it was at the same time especially when there was moments when david spoke um yeah the, the scenes were just executed so well like I said, Miles did a fantastic bloody job voice acting in this episode. It was just insane. I don't know why Rooster Teeth decided to attack me today, but here we go. No, it was super emotional. And I think that's the best thing you can describe this episode. It was super emotional. It was very powerful. It was really, really great what they did. And I just absolutely loved it. I think this episode is, like, definitely one of my favourite episodes of all time. But, yeah, that was... It was pretty good. That was pretty powerful. So, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You can check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care. And I will see you guys next time. Toodles!